Also, like, not to ruin anybody's day or anything, but it does feel really weird to go to school the next day and tell myself that it's okay because I'm teaching the future generation of America and then realizing that there's not going to be a planet in, like, in 10 years, so, yeah. You're gay, you're gay, you're gay, you're gay. All right, guys, so we got to talk about a pretty fascinating story out of Austin, Texas, involving a woke activist teacher who breaks down in tears after she got fired for posting a TikTok in which she basically questioned why her supervisor wanted to meet with her. Uh, and one of the concerns they want to meet with her over was her teaching of constitutional Right. Okay, so today I got pulled into a check-in meeting with um, my administrator at school, and she had this lovely list of concerns that she wanted to bring to my attention. Um, but my favorite amongst them is, we've noticed an intentional attempt at teaching your students about their legal and constitutional rights that's the concern they're concerned why are you concerned why is that a concern why is it a concern why is it a concern why does that concern you why is it a concern yeah so you seen that you heard that okay now this person thought it was a good idea to post a TikTok of her basically questioning why her supervisor wanted to meet with her and was concerned about her teaching her kids constitutional rights now i don't want you guys to get it twisted okay this is not a teacher that was probably teaching her kids about the second amendment and how they have the right to keep and bear arms no 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 this is a woke activist teacher okay she is super woke spend the day with me showing up for trans texans i started at home watching the live stream of the house debates on the floor for all of the other bills that have come up and honestly it got pretty emotional this is not a joke. This is real. Children every day are dying. I knew there were six pages of bills to be heard, so I waited until it got a little bit closer, and when we got to page four, I headed down to the Capitol with my lunch. I started joining in on a sing-along right away, which was just so loving and empowering and a hilarious song choice by our friends at Equality Texas, honestly. But it was super fun, and you just felt like there was so much love in the room until you walked outside and realized that there were so many DPS officers. We waited in this super, super long line. I've literally never waited in a line this long. Again, so many DPS officers. Finally, we got pretty close, and then it was time to go in. They had called our bill to the floor for a debate, and um, a number of points of order had been called. It was really interesting seeing our side versus theirs. Um, especially the age and race demographics. Yeah, super interesting to see who is against trans people having rights. The point of order was called and then we got this. Yeah, so again, it's not just the fact that this teacher is most likely a teacher that will try to push the woke agenda on your kids in class, okay? This is what she'll try to talk about with your kids in class. It's not just that, okay? She also posted videos of her attending the pro-Palestinian protests in Austin, Texas. Now notice, you don't have conservative students uh, rioting and destroying schools uh, over the fact that their teacher attended a pro-Palestinian protest, right? Like the story I did out in New York where you had the teacher that uh, attended a pro-Israel rally and then you had the woke students basically destroy the school and try to harm the teacher over her political opinion, right? But it's not these videos that are the most concerning, right? Um, there's also a video that she has on her TikTok of where she is explicitly condoning and calling for violence in response to police brutality. She was talking about the Tyree Nichols situation and in the BLM protests, and she was straight up condoning violence. So this is the type of stuff that she posts on her TikTok. But again, the TikTok in question that, you know, she says that, you know, got her in trouble was the TikTok in which... Uh, she essentially questioned why her supervisor was meeting with her to teach kids constitutional rights, a.k.a. wokeness, right? Which is that's definitely what she was probably teaching them. And uh, 
she got fired a few months ago and you know she boohoo wide and cried over the fact that she got fired but before we get into it we have to have a word from the sponsor of this video biotrust when it comes to stubborn belly fat we're all looking for a miracle pill generally you have to use multiple different products that target belly fat differently to manage excess fat around the abdominal area some products may focus on abdominal exercises or dietary changes while others may focus on boosting metabolism or controlling cravings believe it or not i found an exceptional alternative that uses naturally sourced and science backed ingredients from mother earth and is more effective at targeting that stubborn belly fat enhancing metabolism and promoting a tone midsection better than most weight management products that i've seen on the shelves at stores and that is belly trim by biotrust tens of thousands of five-star reviews back up the notion that this amazing pill is not only a breakthrough in a bottle but that it also helps remove the need for us to use countless diet pills and fat burning supplements the best part i love is that you can get 51 percent off for the rest of the month or until they sell out whichever comes first plus you'll receive several additional gifts valued at over 500 dollars with every order for a limited time including free shipping a 60-day satisfaction guarantee free vip live health and fitness coaching for life and two free new ebooks titled top 10 foods that burn belly fat and top eight exercises to reduce belly fat at no additional cost to you go to trimwithpatriot.com that's trimwithpatriot.com or click the link down in the description below before this once in a lifetime deal sells out that's it that's the tiktok that got me barred from my classroom and you know what really sucks it has nothing to do with what's in that memo. Nothing. It had nothing to do with my teaching practices, with my relationships with students, with how I dressed, with teaching here. It had nothing to do with teaching. It's literally only because I whistle blew on TikTok instead of going through the appropriate channels to file a grievance. And now I don't get to finish the year with my students. It just feels so fucking wrong. It feels so wrong. It just feels... I literally sacrificed so much to teach this year. I gave up my social life. I gave up sleep. I fucking didn't sleep this whole year. I'm not a morning person. And I was waking up at 6 a.m. and going to bed at 2 in the morning because I was learning geometry and stuff about the planets. And I, it just feels like the only people who acknowledged how much work I was putting into the kids were them and their parents. And that's it. And that's it. This was the hardest I've worked in my entire life with the most responsibilities and the lowest pay I've ever had, ever. And now I'm not allowed back in my classroom because I'm a Gen Z who made a TikTok. And honestly, if I could take it back, knowing that it would mean that I wasn't gonna be able to see my students again, obviously, I would do that. I offered to sign an NDA. I offered to make a settlement agreement. I offered to let them write a script for a TikTok that I would make apologizing to let me back in with my students. And they said, I can never come back to that campus again. Yeah. So you've seen that, you heard that. Okay. She basically got fired from uh, her job for questioning her supervisor openly on the internet, right? In public or TikTok. And she's surprised that there are consequences for doing that. Okay. So this woman has been fighting to get her job back. She actually appealed her termination, and unfortunately for her, her termination was uphill. Take a look. Austin ISD fired a teacher after she posted a viral TikTok video that caused some controversy for the district earlier this year. 
and she appealed her termination and the Board of Trustees has made a decision. Fox's Jessica Rivera has more as the district decided to uphold her termination. Earlier this year, Sofia De Loretto Chetty went viral on TikTok after posting a video about her meeting with her administrator. Today I got pulled into a check-in meeting with um, my administrator at school. Austin ISD put De Loretto Chetty on administrative leave back in March. In April, the district sent her a letter notifying they're terminating her employment. We were given um, the opportunity to have a grievance hearing over Zoom in September, and in so we made the case um, that it violated the First Amendment for me to be terminated, and that it wasn't in the best interest of the district, and that I hadn't actually violated the policies that they claimed. According to AISD, De Loretto Chetty violated Violated the district's social media policy. In the employee handbook, it states if an employee's use of electronic communication interferes with the employee's ability to perform his or her duties, it could lead to termination. During Wednesday's special board meeting, the Board of Trustees upheld the termination. It was very unclear which argument the school district was going with that was deciding what justified um, not bringing me back or not allowing me to go back to uh, teaching or subbing. We had knowledge that, you know, the the likely outcome was going to be that the board was going to uphold the decision of the school district. De Loretto Chetty says during the hearing Wednesday night, the district told her the reason for her um, termination wasn't because of the content of the TikTok. And she had this lovely list of concerns that she wanted to bring to my attention. It was the fact that um, there was disruptions to the operations of the school district because of the TikTok. Uh, and we pushed back against that because the this is one of the biggest school districts in Texas. For now, De Loretto Chetty's lawyers is making an appeal on the school board's decision. She's hoping the district will overturn their decision so she can go back to teaching. For Fox 26 Houston, I'm Jessica Rivera. Yeah, so you've seen that, you heard that. Now, this is kind of a tricky one, okay, because she's trying to make the argument that she had her First Amendment rights violated. And I'm just trying to figure out in this country, which employer can you work for where you openly post a TikTok on the internet for the world to see and it goes viral where you are criticizing your employer, right? You're posting a message that was sent to you in private. You're making it public about concerns having to do with your job, right? It, it specifically is about your job and you post it online for the world to see it goes viral and you don't get fired. Again, I'm trying to figure out because, I mean, you know, I understand you're working for a government school, okay? But if she was working in the private sector, do you think that you would be able to get away with this, right? Which company would not fire you for posting something like that? I mean, what you did was just silly, right? It was, it was silly and it was stupid. It's one thing to get fired for your political activism okay which she has a whole bunch of on her tiktok she also again has a tiktok where she explicitly uh calls for violence she explicitly says there should be violence in response to uh perceived uh police brutality right uh which i think in, in my opinion that that's an extremely controversial tiktok i'm not sure why tiktok is even allowing that video to be on a platform and it's tiktoks like that Plus, along with the other stuff that probably factor into the decision to uphold this woman being fired. It probably did not help that these people probably went on your TikTok and saw all this crazy stuff that you posted on your TikTok, right? And they probably say, you know what? This woman's more trouble than she's worth. <laughs> we're going to uphold this firing. Because again, this is, this is the type of person that we're dealing with. She feels the need to post everything online for the world to see and this has bought negative attention to the school district it has negatively affected uh you know the way that the school district can operate and we're, we're just we can't deal with it right but again you didn't get fired for your political activism even though i would make an argument that you know explicitly condoning acts of violence online you know could be something that you know an employer you know could fire you over maybe maybe not but i'm just saying if you got fired over your political activism, okay, I can understand where you're coming from, right? I can understand you making an argument that, look, you know, I should be able to post, you know, whatever I want on my social media platform 
uh, as long as, you know, it doesn't have anything to do with the school, you know, it's my own personal life, you know, whatever, I can kind of get that. I understand that, right? I don't think people should be fired for their political activism or their political speech off the job, okay? And the reason why I say that is partly because we've seen conservatives face consequences for, you know, coming out as conservative or posting conservative speech on social media and then companies saying, oh, well, we're going to fire you because you're a Trump supporter, okay? Obviously, that's not right. Okay, so it wouldn't be right for the school district to fire her for, you know, being a woke activist. Okay, but that's not what happened. You posted a TikTok in which you explicitly basically uh, criticized your supervisor for meeting with you over what you were teaching in the classroom. Now, in terms of, again, what she was actually teaching, I, I am I would be very interested in regards to what they actually mean by uh, her teaching constitutional rights to her, her students. Because again, I'm pretty sure she is not one of these teachers that were teaching it in a way that I think would be appropriate. She probably was teaching them about all types of other crazy stuff, you know, um, and, and, and pushing her political views on kids and stuff like that, which again, I think is an issue in and of itself that should be addressed. And maybe that was a part of it. Maybe this is deeper than the details that we're getting. But again, there's no job in America where you can do that and not expect to be fired, okay? So this person, you know, trying to, you know, act like she's shocked and that it's wrong for her to get fired. I'm like, again, the only argument you're making is that, well, I work for a government school, therefore I should be protected from, you know, the consequences of actions that, again, otherwise you would get fired at any other company for doing, okay? Again, you just should have been smart in that, like, you don't need to post everything on your TikTok, especially as a teacher. You're a teacher. You're an educator. The things that you post on TikTok are seen by your students, okay? And this school has a social media policy, and you broke the social media policy. Therefore, you have to face consequences for your actions. Again, I don't think that, you know, her TikToks about social, uh, her political activism warrants her getting fired, okay? Um, but that's not what she's getting fired for, right? You're getting fired for doing something that will be a fireable offense at every other company in this country, right? In the private sector, that would be a fireable offense. You're done, right? Nobody's going to tolerate that. But hey, look, at the end of the day, clearly and obviously, according to this woman's TikTok, she wants to be a political activist. You want to be a woke political activist? Go and do that, right? Clearly, that's what you're more concerned about than anything else, okay? It's posting on TikTok, being an influencer, being social media famous. Go do that, right? You, you, you got you. That's what you want to do. That's your passion. So go do that. Go do that, okay? Because in my opinion, I don't think teachers like her belong in the classroom in the first place, considering what we've seen from her in regards to the stuff that she's willing to push on kids in class, okay? i.e. the first TikTok that I played in this video. So go do that. Go be happy doing that. Clearly, that was more important. TikTok is more important than your job. You should have thought about the potential consequences of your actions before you posted that TikTok, okay? Everything does not belong on social media. So again, there's always political activism. There's OnlyFans. Right? There are other options for this individual, okay, who, you know, it's shocked that she has to face consequences for her actions. Actions that, again, in any other job would be an immediate fireable offense. So, hey, it's a sad situation, but she should have thought about it before you took to TikTok, the internet, to post uh, something that you could have uh, handled in private. <laughs> it was completely unnecessary. You got exactly what you wanted. You wanted the attention. You got it. And there are consequences. It is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.